Hi everyone, welcome to the Tiroler Inn. We're gonna work um, on the joists and the rafters in G Elias's room. We're gonna replace all the rotten areas and fix the joists so that we can have a finalized loft here in the next few weeks. Good. Good. Sounds good.
So now that we cut all the bottom part that we need to cut out, everything else is not rotten on the bottom plate. So we're gonna take it, put a new one in, and then we will take this beam out still <clears throat> so that we can replace a little bit more on the long side over here because the top plate here is still rotten a little bit so I want to go a little further plus <clears throat> this beam is all rotten out so we take it all the way down and then <clears throat> we put the two new top plates on So we're in the chimney area here and you can tell there is a lot of rot. You can see coming through the roof even. And what the problem is here is this beam that actually holds up the majority of the roof rafters. It's actually all rotten. So that has to come out and I will have to actually lift that entire roof, most of the rafters up, probably about an inch to two inches and then rebuild all that section. I think to make it a little simpler and easier, and so I don't have to worry so much about from the inside about all these rafters, what I will do is I will take this wall, um, extend the wall up, build a small little support wall that just holds the roof up, pushes the roof up where it's supposed to be. And then when we do the roof, probably from the outside, we'll just extend these rafters that are rotten before we can continue where the chimney was, um, I wanna take a few of these joists out that are just floating so that I can use the joist material over in the chimney area because it's the same thickness and everything. And over here where the loft is, that's where I'm gonna put new joists in. These are gonna be obviously too short after I cut them off because they obviously have rot on the end so I'll cut some parts off, but that's why I want to use them. Uh, that's why I want to reuse them over in the other section. So to do that, I obviously have to cut them off, but I can't really um, just cut them off. They will just fall. So I'm going to support them from below and then I'll cut off the piece and remove the piece, uh, remove the joist as, as it gets free.
So here is the joists that I took out and that's the main reason why I took them out. You can see here the end is completely rotten. This one is actually missing about a foot and this one you can see it's just falling apart even worse. So what I will have to do is I'll have to replace those joists with completely new ones especially since that's going to be also the loft area where we're obviously putting a floor on top. So I'm going to double them up actually because these are actually not too wide. They're only 8 inches um, and we are doing a 13 foot span here so I want to double them up just to give us some extra strength with the kids playing up there. And then what I will do is I will use these joists, I will cut them off over here somewhere and then I will use the, the rest to fix some of the little end rafters and end joists that I have to do. So I'm not gonna let this go to waste. There's a lot of good wood. It's really just the end that is rotting. So as soon as we cut that off, we can really reuse the rest. Well, this is it for this week. It's a shorter video, but I had to help Caleb um, at the beginning on Saturday because they're actually moving uh, to the West Coast. So thanks again um, for all the help that you have been here at the house, um, especially all the cleanup Every time running to the dump, that was a big help. So I had to help Caleb on Saturday morning and then just trying to figure out what we're going to do here is taking time. I think since I have a plan now, the next time I'll be here, we'll have a longer video. I think we'll have a good plan. We know what we're going to do. We know what we need. So I'm going to get all that stuff in advance so we really can work on that. I might actually ask for somebody else to help me because it's going to be a little bit more work to get these rafters up there, align them all, make that all nice. So having a second hand is definitely helpful. And there will be no video next week because next week um, Elias has his birthday and then on Saturday, uh, on Sunday there's already plans for the afternoon so I won't be here at the house at all. So I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Have a good one and enjoy the time. Bye.